Hey, I'm Scotty T from your Comedy Minute. I've got a fantastic comedian named Summer from Iowa. Summer, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, right now, I'm not getting enough oxygen, Summer. I'm, go <laughs> I'm going through a rather heavy period. Why? What's going on? <laughs> oh, a heavy period. I'm so sorry. I'm naturally blonde. <laughs> it takes me a second to catch these I'm things. I'm sorry, Summer. <laughs> I started off on a bad note. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> are, are you? I'm good. Are you? That you're in Iowa now. Were you born and raised in Iowa? Yes. Yes, I was. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from Waverly, Iowa. Okay. It's a very small town. Um. I've lived here my whole life, except for two years, okay. um, like 2020 to 2022, I was in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Mm -hmm. can, can, do you mind if I ask what took you to Jacksonville, Florida? We, me and my family, we grew up vacationing in Florida a lot. Um, so I always okay. wanted to move there. Right. And then when I started dating my boyfriend at the time, he also wanted to live in Florida. And okay. we were just two crazy kids. Okay. That's what I wondered. <laughs> I wondered if that was the case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on since we know that you're from Iowa, born and raised in Iowa. I know you have to be excited about what's going on with the women's basketball team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's Iowa sure. fever. Caitlin Clark fever. Yeah. Um, when you said the thing about having no air, I thought maybe you were making a joke about <laughs> about how great basketball is or something and it took your breath away um but yeah no they're doing really good yeah four years ago somebody was trying to tell me to go to the iowa girls basketball games and i just don't really attend sporting no, events not, that often i'm not a basketball guy if but anything yeah yet, i'll tell you what monday night i was screaming at the, at the tv with lsu yeah was wound up turning a dime store watch Yes, seriously, what a full circle story from last yeah, after year. After last year, yeah, I love. It was Jason's, really good for us. I love Jason Sudeikis in the crowd going like this. Oh, that was great. That was great. so good. What, what is it, Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso, right? Yes, yes. Have you ever watched Ted Lasso? No, I do love no, Jason Sudeikis though. Yeah, I do too. I do too. <laughs> well, let's 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 touch on. We're, I know you're on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm going to put your links in there. Okay. Can I stop okay. you quick? Sure. I'm so sorry. Just no, before, don't, don't okay. apologize. It's your, it's your comedy minute. You, you run the roost. So another celebrity, lots of celebrities obsessed with like Caitlin Clark right now. Okay. Tim McGraw. I have him on Facebook and he did a concert in Des Moines the other day and wore Caitlin Clark. And I then uh -huh, uh -huh, a few days later, um, it was he was at an LSU game and he's like, sorry, gotta represent my real team. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, in LSU in Louisiana. Yeah. I've actually so been to, me, I've been to New Orleans. I've been there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just happy. I when yeah. Iowa won, I was like, suck it, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you uh being born and raised there, I know you got a lot of, you know pride uh but <laughs> let's 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 move on to the comedy thing because um you know i've done i've done a little research on this you just started doing comedy uh octopus open mic is that right mm -hmm. yeah what was that like 10 months ago or so oh just about 10 months i think and, and now you're headlining already <gasps> not a headliner no 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 or, or you're just you, you know you're, you're on the bill that's good i'm on the bill baby that's right yeah. <laughs> well can i ask you summer what what made you start doing comedy um so interesting i watched a few of your comedy minute videos and i actually have a similar story to another girl you had on recently where jessica, i jessica phillips the girl with the pink hair no, she didn't have pink hair. She had a podcast with her husband that they oh, do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shannon Maleem. Shannon's a nice girl. I believe it was her, and she said she was just a big fan of Kill Tony um, with right. her husband. Yeah. And I, too, I wasn't really interested in comedy, but my boyfriend was. And 
it grew on me and we would always say like oh it, it would be so easy like we should just come up with like a minute of comedy and like tell each other for fun but we like never did it because I couldn't think of any jokes right um and then how long that ago was, was that how long ago was that summer that's probably like two or three years ago and I okay. swear for a year I was like trying to make any joke on my own out of my own right. brain and it wasn't until I had actually moved back to Iowa and started a new job and just had a lot of time to think okay. where yeah. all of a sudden I thought of like a good clever joke I thought okay why don't you tell tell us that joke because this would be your first this would be the first joke you wrote and you really liked it go ahead mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead it doesn't matter if it's good or bad okay. just do it Okay, hi, yes, my name is Summer Dawn. Something I get a lot is, oh my God, is your sister's name Winter? And I say, no, that's ridiculous. My sister's names are May, June, and Julie. May, Ju May June, and July? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, cause I've heard that joke. <laughs> you have heard that joke? I saw it written out somewhere, yeah. For the love of God. The, well, the, no the wonder. Joke, the joke is something to the extent of we named my daughter May, June, July, or as we call her Summer. That's the oh, joke. Oh, I, I guess that kind of makes sense because it is a pretty, like, it's a pretty easy one, right? <laughs> or June, so July, sense. August, it may have been. But yeah, I've heard that. I mean, I've, you know, again, uh, not to toot my own horn, but I have 5,700 mm -hmm. videos up. I've been doing it for four years. I saw that. A joke can run by me that I haven't heard. <laughs> but no, sense. I love it. I love it. That was the first joke that came to your mind, and and you you told it or whatever. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. take me from there, <laughs> take me from there to ten months later now. Or let's let's do this first. Tell me about the first time you stood up on the on the stage and and did an open mic. It actually went really well, surprisingly. Okay. Yeah. But okay. I guess. So also another interesting part of the story to me anyway, is well, sure. I found out about the open mic and for and, and three so months, this was, this was at the octopus open mic at the octopus. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went for three months and I would just watch, I would not talk to anybody at the bar because I had a lot of anxiety and depression and mental health issues. Okay. Um, right. So I would just go watch. And at the end of the show, I would walk straight out, not talking to anybody, because yeah. I was so scared. Okay. Eventually, let, um, let me, let I me did, just because I may have lost it. You did this for three months before you even performed. Okay. Before okay. I even performed, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm loving <laughs> so your then, story. Keep going. So then I befriended one of the bartenders. Okay. Um, right. and. He do, do you gave, drink? I, got, I have to ask, do you drink? <laughs> I didn't even drink a lot. Okay. I did not. So that probably was, <laughs> that might, okay. That's actually part of the story too. I befriended okay. a bartender. Okay. I got the courage. He helped support me to have the courage to go on stage. And also the many, many drinks that I ordered that <laughs> before the show helped as well. Oh yeah. Um, fortunately um maybe all of my anxiety sobered me up just enough to speak very clearly and well I had been thinking about my jokes for three months right. I had them right. memorized pretty good and also the environment at the octopus is one of the friendliest okay. environments I've ever been in for comedy okay and the crowd was very supportive all of my jokes were just cute and cheesy it's hard not to laugh at a cute cheesy girl sure. you know sure and it just went really well and that was that was your first gig and you know again I've done quite a few of these now mm. would you say that now your latest gig is that they keep improvement improving and that your your latest gig would be your best Yes, for sure. Okay. Um, and where, where was your latest gig? Was it again at the Octopus or a different room? The last show I did was at a different room called The Loft in Waterloo. Okay, yeah, I've seen, I've seen some, of your, uh, some of your Facebook posts. Like you're coming up with a gas money fest. I, wanna, I, I like that. 
Yes, that is in Oline, Iowa. And yeah. Um, yeah, there's several comics from like Illinois, Nebraska, Minnesota, um, all coming to Oline to compete to win some yeah. gas money. <laughs> and and Corn Fed Productions, I got that written down. What's that about? What did you say? I'm sorry. Cor Corn Fed Productions? Yes. Um, my friend, who is also pretty new to the comedy scene, um, started producing shows in Iowa Falls. And uh, yeah, he's, he's calling his little business Corn Fed Productions. Um, I just competed in a open mic kill tony-esque contest I saw, I saw the picture with you with the with the <laughs> microphone and it looks like it's you won yes. yeah th there was only three of us competing okay and everybody loves women right now like you know supporting women's basketball well you know um, and that's something i gotta say i've been trying to get women <laughs> comedians to come on the show because i just you know i don't think it you know whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't have to do whether you're funny yeah you know, there's a ton of male comedians out there that i just think suck <laughs> yeah you for know sure. and, there, and there's some great com female comedians that you know guys just bash on and it's like she's funnier than you are bud um, but it, i think yeah. it's a man's it's a man's thing but women are slowly you know and i'm going to do everything i can because i want to if i could have nothing but female comedians on from this point i would do it <laughs> i mean it mm-hmm because I love, I, I'm a huge, I always root for the underdog. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just the, my nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that might have had something to do with me winning that, that trophy. Yeah. Everyone yeah. loves to support the underdog. So now, and I kind of jumped around here a little bit, but you said your last gig was at the loft. And you said mm -hmm. it was your best gig yet. Yes, it was really, really good. Um, it was actually on March 8th. So that was International Women's Day. Yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. supporting <laughs> women, supporting women. Okay. Um, yep, it was me and three other female comics. Um, I hosted, that was my, okay. I think that was my second time hosting an actual show. Let me, let me ask you a question just because I'm, when you host, Okay, you start the show, you introduce the comedian, you introduce the other girl, and then do you close the show? Do you do a, a or how does that work? Nope. Um, so the setup around here from mostly what I've seen is the host will come on. Um, and do your bit first. Do my bit first and then introduce the next comedian. Right. Then right. come between and introduce the next comedian and then so yeah there's a lot of shows with two features and then come and introduce the headliner not introducing them all in the beginning right 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 you know I, i've seen that where they but so there was a headliner that night too beyond you three oh. girls nope 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 our headliner was a woman oh no that's what i mean so it was it was two and then the headliner was a woman oh yeah sorry but you I'm were the host that. <laughs> you were the host and introduced, you did your bit, the second girl come on, and then you came back and introduced the headliner. There was actually a third. Okay. So there was four of us total. Okay. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. Hey, no, hey, you're the one screwing me up here for shit's sake. Get your goddamn numbers right. I'm not, we're going to stop this damn recording. I'm getting what, pissed what's off. The, I'm getting uh, pissed off, Summer. <laughs> I can't remember the word dyslexia. Oh, I'm Jesus not sure. God. Dyscalculia. This thing's coming off the rails. Summer, <laughs> I'm going, you know, Jesus God. You you just told me it's your best gig and you can't remember how many people were there. It was four, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm just I'm, right now, I'm, I'm not getting enough oxygen again. <laughs> but anyway, so. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the question I had is, even though you were the host, how much, what would you say you did 10 minutes or five minutes or how much did you do? 10. 10, okay. So mm -hmm. you go out and they introduce you and you do 10 minutes and then you come in and do the, the little bit introducing everybody. Mm, nope, so I started the show. 
Yeah, right. And maybe I don't understand. That's all right. Let's just move. On. But so, in other words, you got a good solid ten minutes now that you're yeah. at. Okay. And and is the goal to continue to grow that to do twenty minutes or a half hour or maybe even an all hour special? Oh yeah, that is definitely the right. goal in the long run. Okay, right, right, right. Because you know, like if you saw Jessica Phillips, she just started six months ago. And I asked her, you know, do you play? And she said, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life if I can. Mm -hmm. You know, is that the way you feel? I'm not 100% sure. I definitely okay. am sure I want to perform for the rest of my life. Um, I also really, I say I'm really into acting and improv and singing, but I've never done any of them <laughs> to, to people just by myself. Okay. But that is, this is my... I think like they call that schizophrenia. I think they call that schizophrenia. Yeah. That's, what do you hey, say? I'm, schizo I'm Just... schizophrenic and so am I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. No, I mean you gotta know know what you are. You know, you gotta be true to who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and, and I think that that all ties in, whether you're a comedian or an actress or or an actor or whatever, you know, whatever, you know. You either feel comfortable in front of the camera or in front of people, or you don't, you know, and it, it took mm -hmm. me, I've been doing this four years. And at first, you know, the first six months or so, I didn't even want to get in front of the camera. I didn't want to do it. You know, mm -hmm. my sister said, you know, it's called your comedy minute with Scotty T. I guess we got to see Scotty T, don't we? I'd say so. <laughs> What's that? I said, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what ended up happening. And now mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm meticulous that everything's got to be right. The camera's got to be light. And, you know, and even my lighting's not real good tonight, but um, I'm just, you know, I'm like you now I'm, I, I'm going to perform. I'm going to perform till I, till I go to the grave. Yeah. That's a, it's the thing that's interesting about it is as a kid, I loved singing and all that like I said but as okay. soon as someone would comment on it yeah. I would shut down I would stop I would just had so much social anxiety right so having the dream and desire and passion for performing and also extreme social anxiety is really difficult <laughs> yeah 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 but you you know I just spoke to someone the other day who said you know that over time that 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 anxiety goes away Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. I was going to say from your first gig to 10 months later, you got to feel better when you go up now. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. On the first one, did you feel sick? You know, I've had not to interrupt, but I've heard people say that they peed themselves or they threw up, you know, that, you know, that first time they were really scared. My gosh. I was really scared. I yeah. didn't feel really sick. Okay. I did feel a lot of anxiety then had a lot right. of drinks and then I felt great. <laughs> right. Yeah. There, yeah. I have tried um, cutting back on the drinking. Obviously that happened. Yeah. That was my first time. My second time it happened again. Um, but I was so drunk. I actually told the same joke twice in a row. Oh my. Which I'm not sure it deserved to be told the first time let alone twice <laughs> you that's know funny though. All right, that's funny summer mm -hmm. so after that uh I definitely cut down on the drinking it was one or two drinks before I went up yeah and just a lot of anxiety here like tightness in the throat yeah. never peeing my pants or throwing up though so yeah. that's great well and I'll be honest because you know I, I'm not gonna try and sugarcoat it um I've done 105 live YouTube live shows where it's 30 minutes of me, no net, no guests, no nothing, just me talking shit. And, you know, I'm doing stories and I'm doing jokes and I'm doing stories and jokes. And, you know, I do have a little set, I call it a set list that I, that I use, but that very first one, you know, I mean, I, I'm like you, my very first live, I just kind of sat there, you know, and and drink, my God, I did two or three shots right before I started to just try to get that liquid courage up. You yeah. Know? But but just like you, 
you know, I've gotten to a point you can go back and watch. I have 105 live shows. You'll see some of them. I'm pretty crinkled by the end. I'm drinking, you know, I got my little, <laughs> especially your comedy made it juju juice. And, you know, I'm, <laughs> but by the end, I'm ready. Or, or I've done, I was just the God summer. I've already said, all right, I'm going to close with one last joke and end up saying good night. And people the next day are like, you never did the last joke, asshole. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, It'll get I, I'm, you. I'm guilty of that myself. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But 105 um, shows now, I, I don't get... That's and a I lot. think these, these Zooms are helping me get more relaxed, you know, in front of the camera and, and, and knowing that, you know, I'm looking in there and there are people that are watching or going to watch and, you know. Yeah. But you, you and just I want to tie into something that because you sent me a really great message and that's why I decided, I said, you know, I want to have Summer on about people that are going about the whole social media aspect of it versus mm. just performing on stage. And I think there are two, I've kind of separated them because people that want to be social media stars are different than people that do stand up comedy. Yeah. You mm. know, mm-hmm. I, I did a guy yesterday and well, did a guy very daddy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do him. Uh, I did a Zoom meeting with him. He's been a stand-up comedian for 14 years, 15 years. Mm-hmm. And he's not a social media guy. He dabbles in a little bit, but he's he's comfortable. I go around the country. I perform. He's making good money. He's not even like I want to yeah. be a big star, you know? I just I just did enjoy it. I'm supporting my family and enjoying doing comedy. Yeah, that's living he, he the dream. He was top shelf. He was, he was professional. Oh, I'll have to watch that when it comes out. It'll be out in a couple of weeks, but yeah, and he and ironically, he's from Pennsylvania. Well, Midwest represent. <laughs> no, I, you know what's funny is that because I'm doing these now, I'm, I've done like eight of them this week. That I go into it with premonition that boy, this this person's stuff looks really good, and then they get on here and and I just have a shitty time. Oh. Versus like with you, I'll be honest, I'm having a great time. I'm loving this. <laughs> good <laughs> I, hope, hey, my, I hope you are too <laughs> yeah i'm having a good time too sorry i'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not for you too, summer. <laughs> oh my god that's funny uh yeah no this is awesome i it, i don't zoom ever so this is very okay. surreal for me <laughs> you're we're, awesome doing, we're having fun and you know the other the other part of it is that people are going to watch this back and and for me I gauge it that, you know, we're entertaining and we're, and people are going to say, this is really interesting. And this girl's got a, an amazing story that, you know, and everything you said so far has just been really spot on and how, how you got to where we are now. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me on. Seriously. I you want, know. You want to tell the people how, how this happened? Yeah. Um, I think we're both just part of the same Facebook comedy group. Um, that people can post in for whatever and you just reached out saying hey is anybody interested in being on my comedy that was, you that my-, was my very first post in that group on Tuesday ah. very first post in that group on Tuesday and since uh-huh. then it's been a non-stop 185 uh, you know I'd say at least 100 people have contacted me and I've done <laughs> I'm doing them as fast as I can I saw but, that you know, some people and I don't want to belabor the point but i love the people that say i'm interested i'm interested and then that's you lazy, it <laughs> you lazy asshole you're not that fucking interested are you yeah right? do more than right i'm interested you know mm-hmm. you contact me for any of you that are out there and see this stop it right i'm interested and contact me <laughs> and sell your interest <laughs> No, I don't mean to sound arrogant, but you know, I'm offering you a, an opportunity to enough. Yeah. Enough. I'm sorry. No, no it's just, thank it you. just and and this is what we're up to Friday now. It's been three or four days of constant my phone. Hey, I'm interested. Hey, or or the other part of this is too, I'd like to try it. Well, now hold on a second. <sighs> you don't have two minutes of material, you asshole. <laughs> you know. Uh-oh. Yeah. Or they have no, you know, they, they don't really, they're just dabbling in comedy or something, or they just aren't a good fit. Yeah. And not everybody is. I really am so thankful and honored. Oh, I'm no, glad you're, you're I a great reached fit. out. You're a perfect fit. Because 
I don't care if you've been doing comedy 20 years or 10 months. When you have passion and you really want to do it, and I can tell you do, you know, and I, I believe this too, Summer. I worked in the music business my whole life. I worked with a lot of big stars. And mm -hmm. it always comes down to drive and desire. If you have enough drive and enough desire, you're going to be a star. And Summer, I think you have the potential to be a real star because you have that star quality. And now it's just drive and desire to decide, you know, whether you want to sing or you want to be an actress or what. But I think you're going to you're going to go far. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. No, and, and again, not that I know, you know, I don't, I could be wrong, you know, I, and, and let's do this. Let's make a pact that in six months or so or however long I'll check back in with you. and We'll see where you're at. I would love that. Yeah, Pass. yeah, we'll definitely what, do that. Do we uh, fist bump to that? Bam, Daddy, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> We're good. Hey, I'm good. Perfect. It's well, in blood now. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, you and me were like peas and carrots. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's let's. I want to make sure because we're going to run out of time. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that we cover everything that you want to talk about, and then, of course, at the end, I'm going to ask you your favorite comedy minute. So. Anything that you want to talk about now, please run rampant. Go go crazy. Sure. Um, I don't think we talked a super lot about like the social media versus in-person thing. Um, and the only reason that's interesting to me um, is because I watch a reality TV show called RuPaul's Drag Race. Have you heard you know, of that? I'm, I mean, I'm not a fan. I've never watched it, but I've heard <laughs> of it. I'm a that's Uber super me. fan. I watch it all. I watch it all more than once. But something that happens on the show a lot is um, there will be drag queens who come on that are more social media yeah, and haven't performed in real life. And so then the real life queens, you know, it's kind of a thing. And so now that I'm doing comedy and I like uh, apply that principle to me and myself, I really, for me, focus on like boots on the ground type work in sure, progressing. Sure. Which eventually, obviously, once I have a foundation of skills and stuff, I would like to move on to social media. But I do have people who talk to me. Sorry, what? No, no, I was just going to say, you, you got to do you, man. You do mm -hmm. how you see fit. I, I just want to say one thing, because mm -hmm. you talk about getting me pissed off. Uh -huh. I hate, there's a couple on YouTube that have huge numbers, making tons of money, and all they do is play other comedians' bullshit. And the girl sits there and reacts to it. And I'm like, you fucking people should be sued out of your goddamn mind. I mean, it pisses me off. Because yeah. All you're doing is playing other comedians bits. And she sits there and smiles and laughs. I have seen that. Have I seen have that seen shit? stuff like that. That, that mm -hmm. shit, those people should be, those people should be fucking off the air. I hate them. It seems fucking a little wild them. that they can make money off of that, but. <laughs> yeah, every comedian out there that they use should sue them. Yeah. It's, it's anyway, I, I'm sorry that just that's something that because I'm like you, I believe, you know, sitting there and doing little TikTok bullshit. No, that that's, <laughs> that's maybe <horseshit>. someday <laughs> I will be there. But today is not the day. <laughs> you know, I, I TikTok offered me. They sent me a, an email offering me to be part of their one minute program, their extended one minute program. And oh. I didn't. Do it. No, I, no, I won't do it. No, fuck not it. interested. Fuck them. Well, that's okay China, spy balloon covid no <laughs> Fuck spy balloon covid Fuck them. yeah china okay. my ass <laughs> oh, what else? That shit for all i care right plus plus honestly summer think about it who wants to see my fat old ass <laughs> <laughs> dancing <laughs> hey get <TikTok> that boy <laughs> <laughs> no nobody wow. wants to see that shit Mm. But I didn't mean to interrupt. I, Go ahead. I mean, that's okay. You bring up a great point. Do comedy. Get up there and get on stage and show us what you got. For sure. Because if you do get real famous on social media and you start touring in person, it is a it's a different kind of ball game. Yeah. But another thing that's interesting. Did you see the Cat Williams interview? Yes. Yes. What did you think? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try and plead the fifth on this because. Oh, that's know, he, okay. No, no, no. It just he, 
he put a lot of people in the spot and this and that. And, you know, they always say there's only three people know the truth, you know, one, you know, mm-hmm. and, 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 you know, the truth or, you know, three sides. Of the, and yeah, I mean, who knows how much of it's true? Okay. I you know, maybe what, I what do you think? What do you point. think? <laughs> the no, only reason I think? brought it up, I, no, so it's in, my, in my short little journey of 10 months, um, right. I had started out doing purely just for fun and me. Right. Um, so everything I was doing was just new and stupid stuff all the time. But eventually I got to the point where I was like, well, I know I'm really funny, but nobody else sees it because I'm not perfecting it. I'm just doing everything for fun. So I was like, okay, let me like focus and hone in. Right. And maybe I was okay. I just was frustrated. So I was having lots of emotions and feeling bitter about other comedians around me who weren't thinking that I was funny yet and I remember seeing the Cat Williams interview and I was like oh like somebody else feels like me (laughs) sure sure I feel the same it happens out there that are that are raking in big dollars that I don't think are funny at all yeah Um, I'll I'll do one name but we got it we got to get ready to close up here because we're gonna run out of time mm -hmm. I don't think Stephen Colbert is funny at all I don't think he's um, a late night show. He's a political asshole. That all he does, he's been doing Trump interviews, and I don't think he's. I don't worth it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't walk across the street to see Stephen Stephen Colbert. I don't like yeah. that. Guy. I think he's no. full of shit. And Stephen, if you're watching, you heard me say it. I don't like you. I don't. Honestly, think I funny. never. I don't watch the late night show, so I have no. All of them these days, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, all of them. They're all political bullshit, and and there's no comedy. They're all very similar. Mm-hmm. Well, let's 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 wrap it up here because we got to do your comedy minute. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Just real quick, I want to let everybody know that like I was only bitter temporarily, and I refocused, and I know that I shouldn't compare myself to others in any way. And anyways, it was a growing moment. I can empathize with Cat Williams, but it was a growing moment. That was it. <laughs> oh, that bullshit. Okay, so now now we can finish. Now that I put the disclaimer it's okay out there, to be bitter. It's okay. all the time. <laughs> well, look, we only have about four and a half minutes left, so we got to do it. Uh, Summer, it's that time. Your comedy minute. Go. Okay, I'm not sure if I understood the directions for the assignment. Uh, <laughs> Why does everybody do this? You said made you laugh. maybe I did. Do I tell you a joke or something that I Can think is can... funny? Summer, I don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's your comedy minute. Okay. Um, you want so to take a shit on the thing. I don't care. <laughs> oh, for the love of Christ! Whatever no. you want to do. Okay. Something that I do think is just really funny recently, because that was the prompt was something that you think is really funny and makes you laugh every time you think of it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't care. My friend, actually the pro- producer for Corn Fed Productions, Jeffrey Effery. Yeah. Uh, he well, does a bit. Name, say the name again so I can put it in the description. Jeffrey Effrey. Okay. And I can also send you in a message. Like, I'll, I'll send it to you in a message. But he does a bit where he makes these songs and they're just fun, silly songs. And right. one of them is about a psycho fucking bitch. <laughs> psycho fucking fish. Bitch. Oh, psycho fucking bitch. That's psycho Sam fucking Kinnison. bitch. Do you remember every- Sam Kinison? The comedian Sam Kinison? I don't I'm watch a lot of comedy. my wife's name, the lying little bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he does a whole bit like that. Oh, okay. That's, That's funny. funny. Yeah, it's just funny, right? Right. It makes me laugh every time. Yeah, well, there you go. There's your comedy minute. <laughs> There and it is. We did it. Can, and we can tell your buddy. Yeah, you yes. Listen, I loved having you here. I'm going to stop the recording. You sure there's anything else you want to tell the people before I stop the recording? I do. Um, I would like to also mention some other production like companies, I suppose. Um, the Lucky Cat in Cedar Rapids. Follow, okay. follow yeah. them on Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Um, Local Noise is another Cedar Falls production company. 
Um, yeah. My friend it produces shows through that. Um, follow them on Instagram and Facebook. I will add the links. <laughs> and a group of friends I got the that they have a comedy troupe together they're called the local boys um and I believe yeah. they have a Facebook page as well so okay follow my friends <laughs> okay that's really nice of you all right well look thank you very much for being here I'm gonna stop the recording so we can talk for a minute or so off the off the record okay okay thank you so thank much you so again much. thank you so you much you were wonderful go Iowa you were wonderful. <laughs> go, go Iowa, Iowa. <laughs>